Section 10, Part 2 of Chapter 4 of How to Analyze People on Sight. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Esther. How to Analyze People on Sight Through the Science of Human Analysis. The Five Human Types by Elsie Lincoln Benedict and Ralph Payne Benedict. Section 10. Part 2 of Chapter 4. Dislikes Many Irons in the Fire. The man who likes many irons in the fire is never an osseous. To have more than one problem before him at one time makes him irritable, upset, and exasperated. The Most Dependable Type. The unchangingness which handicaps the osseous in so many ways is responsible for one very admirable trait. That trait is dependability. The osseous is reliable. He can be taken at his word more often than any other type, for he lives up to it with greater care. Always on time. When an osseous person says, I will meet you at four o'clock at the corner of Main and Market, he will arrive at Main and Market at four o'clock. He will not come straggling along, nor plead interruptions, nor give excuses. He will be on the exact spot at the exact hour. In this he is again a contrast to the first two types. An alimentive man will roll into the offing at a quarter, or more likely a half-hour past the time, smiling, apologize, and be so naive you forgive and let it go at that. The thoracic will arrive anywhere from five after four to six o'clock, drown you in a thrilling narrative of just how it all happened, and never give you a chance to voice your anger till he has smoothed it all out of you an exacting man. But the osseous is disdainful of such tactics, and you had better be aware of using them on him. He is dependable himself and demands it of others, a little trait all of us have regarding our own particular virtues. Likes responsibility. Responsibility, if it does not entail too many different kinds of thought and work, is enjoyed by the osseous. He can be given a task, a job, a position, and he will attend to it and trust him with a commission of any kind, from getting you a certain kind of thread to discovering the North Pole, and he will come pretty near carrying it out, if he undertakes it. Finishes what he starts. If an osseous decides to do a piece of work for you, you can go ahead and forget all about it. No need to advise, urge, watch, inspire, coax, and cajole him to keep him at it. He prefers to keep at a thing if he starts it himself. You may have to hurry him up, but you will not have to watch him in order to know he is sticking to his task. This type starts few things, but he brings those few to a pretty successful conclusion. The Martyr of the Ages Died for a cause has been said of many people, but those people have in every known instance been possessed of a larger-than-average bony structure. The Alimentive seldom troubles his head about causes. The Thoracic is the type that lives chiefly for the pleasure of the moment and the adventures of life. The muscular fights hard and works hard for various movements. But it is the osseous who dies for his beliefs. It is the osseous, or one who is largely of this type, who languishes in prison through long years, refusing to retract. He is unable to do this because the ostracism, jibes, and criticism with which other types are finally cowed have little effect upon him. On the contrary, opposition of any kind whets his determination and makes him keep on harder than ever. Takes the opposite side. If you want him to do a thing, tell him to do the opposite. It is a well-known rule, supposed to work with certain kinds of people. You have wondered why it sometimes works and sometimes didn't. But it is no mystery to the student of human analysis. When it worked, the person you tried it on was an osseous, or one largely osseous in type, and when it didn't, he was of some other type. Contrary? Complained a man of a bony neighbor recently. Contrary is his middle name. I am open to conviction, but I would like to see the man who could convince me, is always said by a man whose type you will be sure to recognize. And against her. I don't know what it is, but I am against it is the inside mental attitude of the extremely raw-boned, angular man or woman. They often 
unconsciously refrain from making a decision about a thing till the other fellow makes his that settles it they take the other side think back over your school days and call to mind the visage and bodily shape of the boy who was always on the opposite side who just naturally disagreed who stood out against the others he was a bony lad every time remember the fatty with a face like a full moon did he do such things he did not he was amenable easy-going good-natured and didn't care how the discussion came out so long as it didn't delay the lunch hour remember the boy or girl who had the pick of the school for company whenever there was a party who danced well and was so sparkling that you always felt like a pebble competing against a diamond when they were around that boy or girl had a high chest or high colour or a high bridged nose and usually all three but the one you couldn't persuade who couldn't be won over who refused to give in who held up all the unanimous votes till everybody was disgusted with him and who rather glorified in the distinction that boy had big bones and a square jaw the proof that he was a combination of the osseous and muscular types the human balance wheel to keep the rest of the world from running away with itself to prevent precipitous changes in laws customs and traditions has always been one of the functions performed for society by the bony people these people are seldom over persuaded and being able to retain a perpendicular position while the rest of the world is being swayed this way and that they act as society's balance wheel the osseous changes after a while but it is a long while and by the time he does the rest of the world has marched on to something new which he opposes in turn wears same style ten years even the clothes worn by this type tell the same story styles may come and styles may go but the osseous goes on forever wearing the same lines and the same general fashions he wore ten years before if you will recall the men who continued wearing loose roomy suits long after the skin-tight fashions came in or the woman who kept to long full skirts when the short ones were the vogue you will note that every one of them had large joints or long faces bony people find a kind of collar or hat that just suits and to that hat and that collar they will stick for twenty years disdains the fashions in every city neighbourhood and country crossroads there is always somebody who defies the styles of to-day by wearing the styles of ten years ago every such person is a bony individual never under any circumstances a moon-faced round-bodied one in every case you will find that his face is longer his nose is longer or his jaw and hands are longer than the average all osseous indications when he is rich the bony man's adherence to one style or to one garment is not primarily because he wishes to save money though saving money is an item that he never overlooks it is due rather to his inability to change anything about himself in accordance with outside influence until a long time has elapsed doesn't spend money lavishly the osseous is as stated at the head of this chapter a stayer and this applies to everything he wears thinks says believes and to the way he carries on every activity of his life no matter how rich he may be he will not buy one kind of car to-day and another to-morrow nor one house this week and another in six weeks he uses his money as all of us do to maintain his type habits and to give freer rein to them not to change them to any extent this type likes sameness he likes to get acquainted with a thing he never takes up fads and is the most conservative of all types unlike the thoracic he avoids extremes in everything and dislikes anything savouring of the showy or conspicuous not a social star because he dislikes display refuses to yield to the new-fangled fashions of polite society and finds it hard to adapt himself to people the man of this type is seldom a social success he is the least of a ladies man of all the types the osseous woman is even less disposed to social life than the osseous man because the business and professional demands which compel men of this type to mingle with their fellows are less urgent with her likes the same food the same yesterday today and forever is the kind of food preferred by this type he seldom orders anything new 
the tried and true things he has eaten for twenty-five years are his favourites and it is almost impossible to win him away from them i have had bread and milk for supper every sunday night for thirty years a bony man said to us not long ago means what he says the osseous does not flatter and seldom praises even when he would like to the words do not come easily but when he does give you a compliment you may know that he means it he is incisive and specific a little too much so to grace the modern social intercourse where so much is froth a man of few words a man of few words is always and invariably a man whose bones are large for his body the fat man uses up a great many pleasant suave merry harmless words the thoracic inundates you with conversation the muscular argues declares and states but the osseous alone is sparing of his words the hoarder bony people are never lavish with anything they do not waste anything nor throw anything away these are the people who save things and store them away for years against the day when they may find some use for them when they do part with them it is always to pass them on where they will do someone some good careful use of money you never saw a stingy fat man in your life imagine a two hundred pound miser neither have you ever seen a really stingy man who was red-faced and high-chested nor have you ever found a real muscular who was a tightwad but you have known some people who were pretty close with their money and every one of them was inclined to boniness when he is poor bony men are seldom broke for they are more careful of expenditures than any other type even when they receive small salaries this type of person always has something laid by but the extreme osseous never makes a million the same caution which prevents his spending much money also prevents the plunges that make big money the osseous cares more for money than any one else this is what has enabled him when combined with some other type to be so successful in banking a business where you risk the other man's money not your own the extreme osseous is never lax or extravagant with his money no matter how much he has he never believes in paying any more for a thing than is necessary take note of the man who carries purses for silver instead of letting their change lie loose in their pockets they are bony every time fat people and florid people are the ones who let their greenbacks fall on the floor while paying the cashier fear of the future the rainy day doesn't worry the fat people or the florid ones but it is seldom out of the consciousness of the bony men and women so they cling to their twenty dollar a week clerkship for years because they are afraid to tackle anything entailing risk pays his bills i had rather trust a bony man than any other kind is what the credit experts have told us other things being equal he is the most reliable type in money matters and pays his bills more promptly the bony man is one who seldom approaches the credit man however he usually has enough to get the few things he really wants and if not he waits till he has extremely bony husbands give their wives smaller allowances in proportion to their total income than any other type and because they are systemic themselves they are more likely to ask for reports and itemizations as to where it goes the fat husbands and the florid husbands are the ones who give their wives their last cent and never asks what becomes of it the repressed man the osseous man or woman is always somewhat repressed unlike the thoracic who uncorks and bubbles like a champagne bottle he keeps the lid on his feelings bony people are always more reticent than others they invariably tell less of their private or personal affairs one may live across the hall from a bony man for years without knowing much about him he is as secretive as the thoracic is confiding and as guarded as the alimentive is naive loyal to his few friends once your friend always your friend can be said about the osseous oftener than any other type the osseous does not make friends easily and is not a mixer but keeps his friends for many years he takes too very few people but is exceedingly loyal to those of his choice the salt of the earth people of the osseous type say little they do little for you and they do not gush but they are always there when you need them and always the same 
they write few letters to you when away and use few words and little paper when they do they are likely to fill every page to write neatly and to waste no margins and to avoid flourishes their letters seldom require an extra stamp plans ahead foresight laying plans far into the future and keeping an eye out for breakers ahead financially and otherwise are tendencies which come natural to the osseous he does not like to wait until the last moment to do a thing he dislikes unexpectedness and emergencies of any kind he is always prepared for instance a bony person will think out every move of a long journey before boarding his train weeks in advance he will have the schedule marked and put away in his coat pocket and he knows just which coat he is going to wear too the longest lived the osseous lives longer than any other type for two reasons the first is that his lack of nerves saves him from running down his batteries he seldom becomes excited and does not exhaust himself in emotional orgies the second is that he habitually undereats usually because he does not care so much for food as the first three types but quite often because he prefers to save the money people he dislikes the bony man does not like people who try to speed him up hurry him or make him change his habits flashy people irritate him but his worst aversions are people who try to dictate to him this type cannot be driven the only way to handle him is to let him think he is having his own way likes the submissive amenable people who never interfere with him yet lend themselves to his plans desires and eccentricities are the favorites of this type diseases he is most susceptible to no diseases can be said to strike the osseous more frequently than any other type but moodiness fear especially financial fear long sustained hatreds and resentments and lack of change are indirectly responsible for those diseases which bring about the end in the majority of cases music he likes martial classical music and ballads are favorites with the osseous old-time tunes and songs appeal to him strongly jazz which the alimentive loves is disliked by most bony people reading he prefers only a few kinds of reading a few favorite subjects and a few favorite authors are indulged in by this type he will read as long as twenty-five years on one subject master it and ignore practically everything else when he becomes enamored of another he reads everything he writes reading that points directly to some particular thing he is really interested in makes up many of his books and magazines he is the kind of man who reads the same newspaper for half a century physical assets his great endurance capacity for withstanding hardship indifference to weather and his sane under-eating habits are the chief physical assets of this type physical liabilities this type has no physical characteristics which can be called liabilities except the tendency to chronic diseases even in this he runs true to form slow to acquire and slow to cure his favorite sports hiking and golfing are the favorite sports of this type because these demand no sudden spurts of energy he likes them because they can be carried on with deliberation and independence he does not care for any sport involving teamwork or quick responses to other players except when combined with the thoracic type he especially avoids tennis favorite entertainments serious plays in which his favorite actors appear are the entertainments preferred by this type he cares least of all for vaudeville social assets the osseous has no traits which can properly be called social assets his general uprightness comes nearest to standing him in good stead socially however social liabilities stiffness reticence physical awkwardness and the inability to pose or to praise are the chief social handicaps of this type emotional assets the osseous is not emotional and cannot be said to possess any assets that are purely emotional emotional liabilities the lack of emotional fervor and enthusiasm prevents this type from impressing others business assets keeping his word orderliness and system 
are the chief business assets of this type. Business liabilities. A disinclination to mix, the inability to adapt himself to his patrons, and a tendency to hold people too rigidly to account are the business handicaps of the osseous. Domestic strength. Constancy and faithfulness are his chief domestic assets. Domestic weakness. Tightness with money, a tendency to be too exacting and dictatorial, and to fail to show affection are the things that frequently prevent marriage for the osseous and endanger it when he does marry. Should aim at. The osseous should aim at being more adjustable to people and to his environment in general. He should try to take a greater interest in others and then show it. Should avoid. Indifference and the display of it. Solitude and too few interests are the things the osseous needs to avoid. His strong points. Dependability, honesty, economy, faithfulness, and his capacity for finishing what he starts are the strongest points of this type. His weakest points. Stubbornness, obstinacy, slowness, over-cautiousness, coldness, and a tendency to stinginess are the weakest links in people of the extreme osseous type. How to deal with this type socially? There is little to be done with the osseous when you meet him socially, except to let him do what he wants to do. Don't interfere with him if you want him to like you. How to deal with this type in business? As an employee, give him responsibility and then let him alone to do it his way. Then keep your hands off. Don't give him constant advice. Don't try to drive him. Let him be as systematic as he likes. When dealing with him in other business ways, rely on him and let him know you admire his dependability. Remember, the distinguishing marks of the osseous in the order of their importance are proportionately large bones for the body, prominent joints, and a long face. Any person who has these is largely of the osseous type, no matter what other types may be included in his makeup. End of section 10